Hello everyone. The purpose of this video today is to help you get started on an activity called the Modified Mercalli Scale activity. And uh, just briefly let me remind you that this is one way that earthquakes are measured uh, and it's based on people's perception of the earthquake, how it feels to them. So I will let you read the background on your own, but it kind of explains how um, this scale works with interviewing and collecting information from people that may or may not have experienced an earthquake. Uh, the first thing you're supposed to do is to read through the modified Mercalli scale that is on table one. So you'll notice that if you click on the link in the activity you'll see a table that looks something like this. Uh, Roman numeral 1 on this scale says the Earth's movement is not felt. Roman numeral 2 is assigned to any locations where maybe a few of the people felt the movement, but only if they were being very still. Uh, maybe notice some hanging objects swaying. Roman numeral 3 would be if the earthquake was felt noticeably indoors, especially if you're on an upper floor, but maybe not so much um, recognized as an earthquake. Sometimes you might mistake it for some other object going by, um, you know, a truck going down the street or something. Okay, I'll let you read the rest of that scale so you familiarize yourself with the different values that can be assigned. Uh, but that's the first part of our activity is to read it. And then secondly, we're going to read the eyewitness experiences from the various cities in table two and assign one of those values on each of those locations. So Ashland has already been done for us because there were some hanging lamps swaying, at least in the reports from that location. Um, that was assigned a Mercalli scale two, Roman numeral two. In Burnaville, it says that the earthquake was felt by people sitting at dinner. And you may recall that um, from the table, um, let's see if I can pull that up here. Uh, Roman numeral two on our Mercalli scale, a few people may feel movement if they are sitting still, hanging objects may sway. I'm going to assign that a Roman numeral two for that one. Uh, and so you go down this list looking at the various cities. In Emeryville it says it was not felt, that's a Roman numeral one. In Leeds it says it was noticed by people working late in tall buildings, so I'm going to assume that those people are upstairs. So we'll put Roman numeral three on that one. Remember, Roman numeral three was uh, felt noticeably indoors, especially on upper floors. May not be recognized as an earthquake. Um, so in Oakdale, it says it was felt by a few people. I think for Oakdale, then I would assign that a Roman numeral two. We can go on down the list and fill these out for all of the cities using this table here, the modified Mercalli scale table. Okay, when you finish that part of this assignment, then you move on to step number three. It says to go ahead and type that value onto the map next to each corresponding city. The first one is done. So you'll click on the map, which is linked right here to open up your own copy. Looks something like this and then you can type on this map. It's a little tricky, but if you click right on the, maybe the easiest way is to click right on the name of a city and just kind of cursor over to the end of that, then you can type in whatever scale was assigned. So Emeryville, I believe, was a Roman numeral one. I'm gonna click over here on Oakdale, cursor over and type in a Roman numeral two for Oakdale. Uh, for Burnaville, I would type that one in. That was a Roman numeral two, I believe. Um, so we're just uh, typing in all of those numbers that we had on this table. And now we're typing them onto a map. Um, Vista, I believe, was a Roman numeral three. Leeds, let's see, I think I had that one also uh, at Roman numeral three. Okay, you'll have to fill in the rest of the table so that you have an idea of how the earthquake was perceived in each of the locations. All right, 
So the next step of the assignments, Roman, or step number four of our procedure, says using the curve line drawing tool, make a colored line that connects all the cities that had a Mercalli value of seven. Well, I haven't done that part yet, but I'm going to show you how to do uh, maybe Roman numeral one and two. Uh, I've got those on my map. We have to do this for all of the cities that had a Mercalli value of um, six using a different color, five, four, three, etc. So eventually we should have a series of lines and it says here that they're not allowed to cross each other. So they should end up looking kind of like concentric circles, like a target. So let's see if we can at least put a few of those lines on our map. So I can't do Roman numeral seven. I haven't figured that out yet or six, five. Um, but I do have uh, Roman numeral one, two, and three on here. Now, notice there's a few cities at the bottom also that are Roman numeral three. So when I'm thinking of drawing these, I'm going to connect all of the cities with Roman numeral three. And I want to do this in a way that doesn't cross over into the two or the one zone. So again, the instruction said use the curve line tool. So I'm going to select that under my line drawing tools. Then I'm going to pick, um, well, I'll change the color at the end. Uh, let me just try drawing this one line first. Now the one line is on the outside of pretty much all the other locations. And I don't really know, I don't think there's any other cities that were assigned one. Um, I think Emeryville might be the only one that we have on our list that wasn't felt. So my line is going to go through. Emeryville and I'm just clicking a few times on my screen here and that gives me this kind of smooth line. I don't really know what it looks like um, but I try to keep the line smooth on this type of diagram. Double click that stopped the, the line drawing process. Pick a color. I'm going to make this one green. Maybe make it a little bit wider so you can see it better. And then hit the escape key so I can move on to my Roman numeral 2. Now for Roman numeral two, it looks like I've got three different cities here that are assigned values of two. So again, I'm going to connect those with this curve line drawing tool. And I'm just going to click again. I'll probably click this a few times, making sure that I go right through the center of the dot if I can for those locations. And again, I don't know where to take it at the end. So I'm just going to double click here to end my line and I can go in and change that. That's going to be an orange line. Okay, now the three is going to be a little trickier because I've got some cities up top and some cities down at the bottom that are all threes, but I'm thinking in terms of a target, so I'm working my way in the way that I'm doing this. I got to get around all of the other cities. I don't want to go right through the middle of the drawing because those may have higher values. Okay, you'll, you'll figure this out as you complete your map. Uh, but we don't want to cross into any zone that's going to be a higher value than three. We certainly don't want to cross into any of the zone that's a lower value than three. Um, the instructions said the lines are not supposed to cross. For that reason, I can't just go straight through like this, right? Because those lines would cross. So let me make my line go through here. I don't know what Kempo is. I didn't look, but if it's a higher value than, than three, then I need to go on the outside of it. Okay. And I'm going to take this line all the way around. I'm going around those cities because I believe they had higher values than three. I didn't quite get through there, but that's okay. You get the idea. And just for fun, I think I can fit this on my diagram. I'll just go all the way back up here. Cool. Okay, so this one is trying to fill in, but I can just turn the fill to transparent. I can turn that line a little thicker and maybe make that one my blue line. And I continue drawing these lines until eventually I will pinpoint the area where the earthquake happened because those people would have felt it the most strongly. Okay. I hope this helps you as you're completing this assignment. Please get in touch with me if you need other help. All right. Good luck.